Alrighty, just going to be doing a quick video, making sure that it's set up to the right headset, um, about this cheap PC that I found. It is $719, which isn't, like, too, too bad. I don't know why it's showing the RAM stick at the wrong spot. That's one thing I'm noticing right away. It's also showing an Intel cooler when it's a Ryzen, and the graphics card isn't going to look like that. So we're going to just ignore this whole picture and just assume the thing that you're going to get is the case and the lights. The inside components might vary. <coughs> so first off inside this thing the main part of the PC is an AMD Ryzen 3 3100 which is 4 core 8 threads which is a very solid starter CPU it will last a little while with its 8 threads. Next 8 gigabytes of RAM which isn't too hard to switch up to 16 to get better FPS and CPU demanding games and actually some GPU games will actually get a little bit of a boost but not as much as a CPU based game. Now the Radeon, Radeon RX 5500 2GB is uh, a l pretty similar to an Xbox One, I would say. Um, you're going to get about 30 FPS in like more demanding games like Rust or Red Dead and I would probably say like Project Cars. 30 FPS is like being pretty generous that would be on low settings like it would be good enough to play to get like your foot in the door to see what kind of games you like and it would play games like fortnite at like 71 fps and games like gta at about 60 fps on low settings so it would be a solid starter pc the first thing that you want to replace is definitely pardon me the uh the graphics card it just isn't strong enough if this was like 2017 maybe Maybe it'd be good enough to like pass on, but like in 2021, the RX 5, 550 just is enough to keep up. But the rest of the components in this PC are actually not too bad. The processor is good, the RAM is meh, the uh, 240 gigabyte SSD is good, and a 2 terabyte HDD, no matter what speed it's at, is pretty good. So change out the RAM and the G GPU, and you'll actually have a pretty solid PC. The 3100 should be able to handle up to. I would say like a 3060, maybe even the 3060 Ti without too much bottlenecking and FPS drops. So it is a strong enough CPU to keep up. You might have to do a little bit of overclocking depending if the uh, motherboard that comes in it supports it. I can't really see too much about this thing. Yeah, it's very, very generic. And uh, for the most part, this is basically just cyber power patting themselves on the back for all their awards and stuff and not telling us too much more oh there's the hard drive speed so 5400 pretty slow hard drive but good enough to save like games onto as long as windows isn't loading off it it should be totally fine windows should be saved onto the 240 gigabyte ssd even if it's like a crappy kingston will still be faster than a hard drive and then pictures are the, the other one. So yeah, I would probably like give this thing like a 7 out of 10 on its price. I would give it an 8 out of 10 if it came with like an RX 570 would be uh, like acceptable for that price. Because you can get a gaming PC from Best Buy with an RX 570 with like pretty much the same components for, for like the $650 range where it's constantly sold out. So if you are in a pickle and you really, really want a PC, it's, I'd give it a 7 out of 10 on price.